All right, Valentine's Day is upon us, and that means dinners and flowers with your sweetie. It's also a time when singles are targeted by those looking to make yes. a quick buck. NBC5 responds. Wayne Carter tells us how to protect yourself from phony romance. Guys, investigators in five states work together looking into these tactics being used to help you fall in love, falling so far in love that you don't even hesitate about opening up your wallet. Single can be sensational, but if you want to find true love and haven't, let's face it, Valentine's Day can be a drag. We know it, and so do crooks. I've told you about these schemes. People using fake photos, promising their love, and then some way or another asking you to buy them a plane ticket. Why are the money? or something where you have to spend cash. Today, the Federal Trade Commission, Postal Service, Better Business Bureau, and the AARP all joined together to warn you as well how this supposed love of your life can be one of your biggest disappointments. They take their time, they work you, they show you, they may even send you gifts, but they can't meet with you because they're the in the military, or they're in international business, um, or for whatever reason, they can't meet with you. The scam letters giving like small gifts or small tokens of their of their fondness, and then in turn, very quickly asking for uh, funds, either you know for travel or because their wallet was stolen or because they lost important paperwork or because they need to close a deal. Like there's so many different stories, but in the end, it always comes down to asking the person for money or credit or um, wire transfers. So what do you do? Don't send money to someone you haven't met in person, especially if they want you to send it overseas. You've got to be cautious. Look up their photos. Try to meet them in person. Whatever you can do to protect your money. Wayne Carter, NBC5.